Everything in Android is an activity. What is activity? Activity can be your Facebook profile page that you're opening. It can be the WhatsApp screen that you're looking at. It can be even the phone that you're dialing. So let's try creating an Android activity and then start using it. Let's say in our case, uh, use a login as an activity. So I'm creating a new login activity. Set its defaults. If there is a parent associated to it, then associate that. And once you finish, you it will create a template of an activity. You can see that it is app compat activity, which is inherited from the base parent activity. This is the layout which is being created by default. We will make some changes so that it uh, it is similar to the design which I have right now. So to start off, let me import all the required uh, image artifacts. Once I do that, it will generate the different uh, DPI resolutions required. Making some modifications uh, so that uh, it can be as per my requirement. I don't need an autocomplete uh, text view. Instead, I'll go with an edit text. Again, changing some defaults which are there. Uh, my password is not optional, so I make those changes in the strings.xml file. So if you require uh, string elements, which is which is used all across the application, you can keep it in within the strings.xml file. So to design as per my requirement, the background and everything is as per a specific template, which is as per my branding. So I would uh, use a specific shape and a specific style associated to it, to it. So my edit text background will look something like with this, which you, you can actually create it in, create in a shape file and include all the elements there like uh, the stroke, the padding, etc. So once you apply that background to your edit text, you can see that change happening in your design. So one of the ways of uh, keeping a standard for your controls is using creating uh, layouts within your drawables and using those as uh, different styles or backgrounds for your application elements. So I'm applying to the same to the next edit text. So once I set the gravity to center, the text will be aligned center. Again, I need uh, a specific style for my button so again i create a drawable element which is an xml file and apply my style there so only change uh, in this case will be the background color which is a uh, orange and i do need to have the stroke element So that's my button style, which I'll apply as the background to my button.
my text color is white and my text is not all caps so i can set that to false by default it will all be capitalized now i have an image icon at the top of the design so creating that same here So I'm almost close to the completion of that screen. I have added a couple of more elements there and uh, this looks like almost uh, closer to the design that I have done. Now to access each and every element uh, from the layout to the activity class I need to assign IDs for each and every element which I need access so by setting a button ID I can get the access of that uh, button element there So this is the corresponding activity for the home screen which we just saw and for accessing my particular button I need to use the activity provided uh, find view by ID. So the ID that we had provided there can be used here to access that specific button. So mine being an image button I cast the element to the same. And my login screen will be launching from the home screen so for that uh, I set the listener on the button create an intent on the on click event and instantiate my login activity from the current instance of the activity I can call the start activity method and pass the intent so this way the new activity activity will be launched so the current context is the button element So let's see whether it works. So what I'm trying to do is launch the login activity from the parent activity. So you can see the screen from the splash screen. It goes to the launch screen from the home button. 
I click on parent and yes, the login activity is launched. Now, if you have any queries on this tutorial, please feel free to send out your comments. Thumbs up and like this video. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel by clicking on the button. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Hope to see you soon in the next tutorial.